to Crow Forest Reviews. So you remember how much fun we had last time we talked about a Captain Proton episode? Well guess what, there's another one. This is Voyager Nights. So the episode starts right in with a Captain Proton adventure already in progress. See? They know what we're here for! So Chaotica is rambling on about the mines of Mercury, when suddenly the program is interrupted by the Doctor coming in and ruining their fun. Rude. Peter, adjust the Doctor's spectral frequency. I have no interest in your frivolous fantasy. Peter, adjust the Doctor's spectral frequency. I have no interest in your frivolous fantasy. We can't stop now. Does the phrase to be continued mean anything to you? It should. You've used it often enough. Mr. Worf, fire. I guess some of us won't quite be done by the time they get here. Anyway, we soon learn that Voyager is passing through a vast, starless expanse of space, and as such, crew morale is at an all-time low. And so, the holodecks are in very high demand these days. Which is fair. Things on Voyager are always super boring. Watching the stars whiz by outside the windows is always the highlight of everyone's day. First thing in the morning, I replicate some curtains. Yeah, as funny as that line is, that's not really the root cause of what's going on here. No stars means no planets, which means no wacky adventures that they normally get up to, and also no supply runs. So, yeah, this does suck. But that's not what we're here for. So getting back to the real plot of this episode, Tom Paris brings Seven of Nine to the holodeck to play the role of Constance Goodhart. Harry Kim, however, is not with them on account of being far too busy composing the absolute masterpiece, Echoes of the Void. Brilliant! Truly, that should be the new Star Trek theme song. Make it so, Paramount Plus. So anyway, Seven of Nine's performance as Constance Goodhart is cut short by a ship-wide power outage. Which is really unfortunate, because she was doing such an outstanding portrayal of that character. The robot has been neutralized. May I leave now? Oh, also, Captain Janeway is no longer acting emo. So, you know, that's a plus. The less said about her brief emo moment, the better. Tell me, what are you doing in the middle of nowhere? I know you are, but what am I? Wait, no, that's not the right response. So for some reason, the power outage doesn't shut down the holodeck. It just freezes the hollow grid. Um, sure, that makes sense. Also, apparently the hollow grid isn't even all that frozen, since Seven of Nine is able to shut the safety protocols off. Computer, disengage safety protocols. <laughs> So, there's that. Anyway, Tom and Seven manage to fight off the intruders with the holographic laser pistols that they manage to get off the holodeck, somehow. Yeah, this episode has a lot of plot holes. So anyway, they manage to get past the Malon guy into the wormhole, destroying it in the process, and thus preventing any further pollution of this sector of space. Yeah, I didn't mention most of that before, but it makes sense in context. Mostly. So that was Captain Proton and the Mines of Mercury, or something. How was it? Well, there wasn't really all that much Captain Proton in this episode, which is a real shame because those were the best parts, but still, this was a pretty good episode. 
mm, few minor issues notwithstanding. Well, that's all for right now. So, I guess, enjoy this Captain Proton clip show. Proton, we're receiving a transmission. It's Chaotica. Captain Proton! Surrender! You'll never get away with this! Oh, but I shall! Welcome to Planet X. Where's the last place we went again? The Mines of Mercury. They're identical. Well, sets were expensive back then! They're still expensive! They're really, really expensive, damn it! <laughs> halt in the name of Chaotica. I don't have time for this. Invaders! Invaders from the fifth dimension! Damaged! Require maintenance! Help! 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 No! Power up the death ray! Increase power to the lightning shield! Throw rocks at them if you have to! Rocks! It's good that you have your lightning shield to protect all of this. The air itself seems to vibrate in your presence. Much like how air itself vibrates regardless of your presence. What? Captain Proton is preparing to attack? No! Feel free to join me in my... No! my 99th episode so my next one is the um the video essay i should probably say that again in case i want this to be an actual promo because as a promo this kind of sucks um and thus um uh, my um that's a wrap on my 99th episode next up the 100th episode video essay. Stay tuned. Yeah, that's a better promotion. <laughs>